Hello everyone. I hope all you are doing very good in your life. Today in this video we are going to cover the topic called de Broglie wavelength of an accelerated electron. Okay. So we are finding the de Broglie wavelength for an accelerated electron. As we already know that electron always travel or it is always revolving around the nucleus okay so this is always revolving around the nucleus now we need to send an energy we need to send an energy that energy we have to take it as e is equals to electric charge into potential electric potential difference electric charge potential electric difference okay now as we already know that when we send more energy to that electron this electron will get accelerated will get accelerated and we need to find out the lambda or de Broglie wavelength for an accelerated electron okay so when we send an energy to this electron this electron will get accelerated and it will start accelerated motion surrounding the nucleus that's why we can take it as it will carried kinetic energy kinetic energy is nothing but half mv square kinetic energy is nothing but half mv square okay so we can write it as like this e v is equals to half mv square now just rearrange the term here because we know that momentum of a particle we take it as mass into velocity so we need to sub apply p term here so but there is a term we call it as m into v square multiply by m and divided by m to make m square v square divided by 2m so let us write m square v square by 2m this is ev now we can m square v square is equal to p square so substitute here we'll get p square by 2m now just find out the momentum equation that is p square is equals to that is p square is equals to p square is equals to 2m e v now remove the square then under root 2 m e capital b mass of the electron charge of the electron voltage of the electron so this is a p term we find out that means momentum we find out and we already know that what is de broglie wavelength equation de broglie wavelength is lambda is equals to h by p so substitute here in this equation then we'll get h lambda is equals to h by under root 2 m e v okay now known part like we know the Planck's constant we know the mass of the electron we know the charge of the electron only unknown part is we don't know the voltage or electrical potential difference we don't know so keep this outside while when we can write it as 1 by under root v into h by under root 2 m e so substitute the values like 1 by under root v is into into bracket h is the Planck's constant write down the Planck's constant value is 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34 divided by 2 into mass of the electron is 9.11 into 10 to the power of minus 31 31 into charge of the electron is 1.602 into 10 to the power of minus 19 so if we calculate this value we will get we'll get 1.226 into 10 to the power of minus 9 divided by under root v into meter that is lambda now we know that into 10 raised to minus 9 is nothing but nano 
meter so write down lambda is equals to 1.226 divided by under root v into nan nano meter this is the equation this is the equation for an accelerated this is the equation for an accelerated electron so this question may ask you in vtu vtu exam 4 to 6 marks question 4 to 6 marks question or sometimes he may ask you write down the de broglie wavelength definition and find out the equation for an accelerated electron that will be asked for 4 to 6 marks question i hope you got what i try to explain in this video if you like this video or if you like my explanation hit a like button and don't forget to share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel with this let's wrap up the video thank you